Hello everybody, this is Joseph Norman, and this is our fifth lesson with Pure Data for our digital music making class. Today we're going to be looking at the Car Plus Strong algorithm, which is a type of physical modeling synthesis that reproduces the sound of a plucked string. Uh, it's done with basically a noise burst and uh, some delayed feedback and some filtering. Uh, we will also be adding some fun to that with uh, the use of some amplitude modulation. And from there, we're going to be applying it to a little bit of Steve Fry style phasing with our sequencers. All right, so let's get started. The first thing we want to do, let's create a noise tilde object. There we go. All right, and then we're going to create a couple messages. One and 20. And then zero and 20. And we're going to create a delay up here for 20. And a V-line, and we will attach the 1, 20, and the 0, 20 messages to the V-line, and we're going to create a signal multiplier. Noise is going to go into the left inlet, and the V-line will go into the right inlet. And basically, this generates our noise impulses. All right, and then we're going to create a new object here called del right tilde. We want to name our delay, basically, so we'll just call it string for now. And we need to give it a time in milliseconds to essentially record the delay line. So we'll say 500 milliseconds. Okay, and then we'll run the signal multiplier into the delay right, del right tilde. Okay, so then for the next portion of the patch, we have to, let's start with a little MIDI number here, 60. Let's create an M to F. And then in order to create uh, basically a period uh, for a periodic sound uh, to create uh, an accurate pitch setting for our delay for our car plus strong synthesizer we need to do a little bit of math and it's pretty simple we can just do EXPR 1000 divide and we're going to say dollar sign F1 okay and then we're going to create a number box here and then we're going to create the delay read for tilde space we want to call up the delay line there so string so del read for tilde string all right and then underneath of that we need to create a signal multiplier okay that's going to cop at amplitude of 0 0.99 we don't want that to get to one otherwise crazy stuff happens and then let's go ahead and create a low pass filter and for the moment we'll just say 10,000 and we'll add some variability to our filter as we move on okay so we're just going to feed that low pass signal right back into the del right and then at the same time we're going to go ahead and create a signal multiplier I'm going to say 0 0.25 run that in there oh that's not supposed to be a message that's supposed to be an object there we go, 0 0.25. Okay, and then we'll create a DAC. Okay, put that there. Make sure the DSP is turned on. Oh, and then what we want to do is create a trigger, bang, bang, bang. Create a button. And then we want to send a bang to that message, 120. And then to this one, this creates our noise burst. And then we want to send it to this MIDI number as well. OK. So let's go ahead and hear what this sounds like. Beautiful. OK. So let's go ahead and move these over, give ourselves a little bit of room. Move our deck down here. Okay, and let's just get rid of that for the moment. Let's go ahead and build our sequencer portion now. So let's create a metronome. Here, 250, create our toggle box above it. Let's put that maybe centered here since this is going to guide our whole patch basically. All right, and then underneath that, let's create a trigger, bang, bang, bang. Okay. And then let's go ahead and create our counter objects. 
Okay, so the first thing we want to do is create an integer. Create an addition box, plus one. Okay, we're going to feed the integer into the left inlet. And then the plus one will go into the right inlet. Okay, and then we're going to create a modulus. And let's say mod five. So every time it counts to five, it'll start over again. And actually, it's going to count zero, one, two, three, four. Let's go ahead and create our number box. And we will attach, oops, need an extra bang there. And we will attach this over here. Let's go ahead and duplicate that because that's going to be useful for our pitches as well. So let's go ahead and move this out of the way. Move this one out of the way over here. And let's create a select object. Select 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And we're going to, oh, just 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. There we go. Duplicate that. Move that over here. Attach. Attach. OK. Let's go ahead and create some messages. Let's make these quick. 50, uh, let's see, 100. 50, 75, and then 200. Let's do that. Oops. Yeah, 200. OK. Put that there, 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 and there. OK. And then over here, let's move this over just a little bit. Attach this one. Let's create some messages. I'm just going to create some stacked fifths here. So 60, 67, uh, 74, no, yeah, 74, um, 81. And then let's go down at the end and say 76. OK. Here we go. There. OK, we'll get rid of this message. And we can just move these over just a little bit, tighten them up. And then we'll send this into the M to F. get fed back over here into the metronome. Let's try that again. There we go. And then we're going to want to send this bang to activate that. And then this one will go over to our delay. All right. And then let's go ahead and get ready and see if everything works. Let's hear it. Yeah, that's pretty fun. All right. Let's go ahead and do some amplitude modulation. So let's create a single multiplier here. Cool. And then let's go ahead and create an oscillator. And Let's go ahead and have that be unipolar. So let's go ahead and add plus one. So normally the oscillator, of course, goes between negative one and one. Oh, we need a signal there. So plus tilde one. And then we want to go ahead and multiply that by 0 0.5. So now, instead of being from 0 to 2, we have the oscillator going basically in numbers from 0 to 1. OK, so we'll put that there and feed that into this signal multiplier over here. 
And then we want to create a little object to do some, uh, make some variability basically for our color here. So uh, let's see, let's create a multiplier and say times one. Okay, and we're going to take, geez, let's try that again, times one. Okay. And so we're going to take the MIDI to frequency. Let's go ahead and make this into a TFF. And we're going to send the frequency here. And then we're going to go ahead and send this frequency over here where it gets multiplied. So now let's go ahead and create a couple sliders, one for our low pass filter and then one for our amplitude modulation. OK, so let's go ahead and uh, create one Z V slider. And we're going to change our properties. Let's say we want this to be able to go from 1 to 10 and change the parameters to say logarithmic. Cool. And then we want to know what that's doing. So let's go ahead and create a number box so we can keep track. And let's go ahead and feed that to the low pass filter. And then let's make a comment next to that. Let's say uh, command five for a comment. And then we'll say, uh, let's see, let's just call it brightness to keep track of that. And then over here, let's create another V slider. And then this one, let's change the lower to be 0 0.1 all the way up to four logarithmic. And then we'll put this over here, put this into the right inlet over there, and we'll make a comment, command five, and we'll say mod freak. So we know what we're seeing there. And actually, let's put a number box in between so we can keep track of what it's actually doing. So here we move this, see, move this. Okay, let's go ahead and see what this sounds like. Oh. Hmm, not getting audio for the moment. What's happening? Oh, because we need a multiplier for our low pass filter. All right, yep, we'll create this. And we'll say one. And then actually, we want to make this a TFF. So let's go ahead and get rid of that. So we're going to put the rightmost inlet over here for our amplitude modulation. And then for our filter frequency, let's put it over here. So this way it follows the frequency that's getting played by our MIDI numbers. And let's put this here. Let's turn it off this here so now we can have a dollar tone I get it pretty bright Okay, excellent. So now we've added some amplitude modulation um, and some filter following here for our uh, Car Plus Strong synthesizer. So let's have a little bit of fun with this now. If you remember the pipe object, we'll delay a bang. We can put in a value here. Let's say zero. Okay, and let's create another new bang to come out of there. Okay do that and let's just copy and paste this well actually let's duplicate it we'll duplicate bring it on over here okay and then let's rename this to be string 2 this is going to be important we don't want to have them reading from the same uh, delay basically and I'll read 4 tilde string 2 okay and then Let's create another counter. Let's do this one where 
just duplicate one of these. But let's change the modulus to say we want it to be, I don't know, 4,000. Okay. And then let's say plus one. Let's have it add 10 each time it receives a bang. Okay. And so let's create another B here. And let's have that go here. Okay, and then this will get added now into the pipe. So the pipe's delay will change by about 10 milliseconds. Ooh, actually, and let's have it instead of coming from here to, we can make this a little bit better. Let's have it do this, that every time it reaches the end of the cycle here, so when it says uh, select four, that's what triggers this integer to go to that pipe. And then let's get rid of one of those bangs. And we'll send this over to the pipe here to trigger it. And that bang here will be delayed by however much this adds. Okay. And so then what we need then is a T, B, 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 B. And the pipe will go here. And so we can send this. Actually, we don't even need that, do we? We only need three because we only need to send one here to the sequencer. And then we just need to send one to the delay and one to this onset message here. So there we go. But going to that, okay, let's make this volume a little bit lower, okay, 0 0.2, and then let's create another signal multiplier here and say 0 0.2 for that one. Okay, so what's going to happen is Every time we reach the end of this uh, sequence of pitches, it's going to add a little bit of delay to what's being sent through this metronome over to this synthesizer. And what that will do is gradually these will get further and further apart from each other. Um, they're starting a little bit off kilter anyway because this one is starting at the fourth number of the sequence, or rather the last number of the sequence, and then this one is going to be starting at the beginning. So they're going to be one off anyway. But we're here gradually a, a change in the relationship between this one and this one over here. Um, at the same time, let's go ahead and give this uh, some unique values for its brightness and its mod frequency. Let's move this over here. And this one to have a little bit lower brightness. Okay, let's hear what this sounds like. Yeah, I'll bring the brightness way down on this one. This one back up. There we go. All right, everybody, that's our lesson for the day. Goodbye.